a number of secret societies were born at the turn of the twentieth century. Many of them were derived from the Jesuits or the Rosicrucians. Among them, Sapientes Gladio was one of the most interesting. At first, they worshipped the Lord humbly and worked for equality. They valued each other's opinions and were an extremely idealistic group. They broke down barriers between races, and just when it looked like they would extend their influence, it happened. With the appearance of one man, the activities of Sapientes Gladio were perverted into something else. The man who became the new leader pushed his own elitist agenda, so that only those who could prove their superiority could join the group. They sent the message that, in the name of their secret society's ideals, they would do whatever was necessary. So they're terrorists. Exactly right. Sapientes Gladio, as they are now, is nothing more than a group of dangerous terrorists. If we don't stop them, something terrible will happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But why you, Roger? Why was Sapientes Gladio hunting for you? Good question. They wanted three things. My life, the emigre manuscript, and... And what? Hmm. I think it would be better if I showed you that.
By the way, Sir Roger, you do know where Nikolai is going, don't you? Of course I do. Where? To where the leader of Sabiente's Gladio is. He's headed for Petrograd, Russia. Russia? Correct. Okay, it's almost time for liftoff. Hold on tight, everyone. Bacon jet liftoff! Bacon jet? Okay, that's better. <laughs> that was one of my smoothest takeoffs. So who is this leader anyway? What's he really after? His name is Grigory Rasputin, and his goal is to take over the Russian Empire. You're still here. I'm sorry. I guess I overslept. Well, you had quite a workout. But no worry. It's not yet noon. Yes? What is it? I have a message from Her Majesty, Empress Alexandra. Is it about tonight's ball? Yes. It begins at nightfall. Her Majesty requests that you arrive in the hall before then. Unfortunately, I will not be attending. I must be at church this evening. Uh, but Her Majesty... Tell her that I will see her tomorrow. Yes, my lord. My, my. Straight out of bed and already an invitation to the royal ball. Well, now since you healed the prince, the empress has come to rely on you. She wants to spend some more time with you. More work to gain the emperor's trust, eh? You won't have to toil much longer. Am I right? Yes, it's time. Time to take the stage as the man who ended the 300-year-old Romanov dynasty. The world will be changed forever.
Is it ready yet, Edgar? Almost, Your Highness. I just need to test it out now. <laughs> what did you want something like this for all of a sudden? Are you trying to stir up some kind of mischief? <laughs> of course not. I'm working for the benefit of Mother Russia, that's all. You mustn't make the Tsar and the Tsarina worry about you, you know. It's fine. My mother is so busy with Alexei that she never even thinks about me. Not that talk again. Your Highness, it's finished. Uh, whoopee! <laughs> Thanks, Edgar! <laughs> Promise me something. You must always use the mystic egg and the camera for the cause of good. Of course, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one more thing, Your Highness. Stay away from Prince Yusupov. That mad monk has been keeping a close watch on him. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Excuse me, madame. Welcome to my shop. My watch hasn't been working well. Hmm. That's a rare one. Made in Japan, eh? Just a minute. Are you a Japanese gentleman, then? Yes. I'm on a diplomatic tour of Europe. This is my first time here. It's lovely. Yeah, spring is short but sweet here. Speaking of springs, yours was worn out. I've just replaced it. I'm grateful. Mm, the war has turned brutal lately. Everyone is worried about the future. Do you think it will continue long? Looks that way. At first, we all thought it would be over by Christmas.
operation's been completed. Yes, sir. All's well. The stalemate on the front line means practically no security in the city. The victory reception is upon us. You have one chance to kill him. You must not miss. Yes, sir. Victory reception? One chance? There's only one thing to do! Princess Anastasia, you're alone in a most unseemly place. I... I suppose so, Lord Rasputin. You're different than your sisters. Very curious and brave. But children like that often die young. I heard. You're planning something for the victory reception. Oh, so you overheard me, did you? It's unfortunate to snuff out a young life, but you have nothing to fear, my dear. Your family will follow soon afterwards. What did you say? Shout as much as you like. No one will come to help you. Kill her. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Thank God, thank... Oh, come on now. Don't make such a big deal about it. What do you mean, big deal? If these folks hadn't helped you, you would have been... I know, I know. I'm grateful already.
What's this? It is a gift. Please take it. Huh. Excuse me, miss. If I may, young lady, there's a much more important question than that. Why was that monster trying to kill you anyway? A royal princess's personal business is none of the affair of peasants. Let's just say that in this great big world, there are those who choose to align themselves with the forces of good and battle against the dark forces of evil. Please, forgive her. She's always liked to daydream. Don't take her seriously. I'm not daydreaming anything! Mm -hmm. huh. Well, my dear, it's probably nothing. Nothing to get too worried about. But that monster that attacked you looked a lot like a creature we fought. It was summoned by black magic. A powerful wizard, am I right? Do you know how to use magic, too, like Rasputin? Rasputin? Why did you all shout like that? Please say it isn't true! You're not working with that dirty old man! You know Rasputin? Yes, I know him. Everybody says that. Because of him, my father's government has been completely ruined. Your father's government? Ruined? That's right. Excuse me. Does that mean that you are... <sighs> she is Princess Anastasia Romanov. <laughs> Aww. Aww.